Okay guys, now this video here, I would like to continue this talk on uh, using the um, FLR technique with the with the course books here. I had an interesting conversation with a buddy today, Mr. Dawes, uh, my buddy Dawes, Nick Dawes, and he had some questions and I realized that, you know, I didn't go in depth with these um, with these questions here when I made the video the first time. So, uh, perhaps many of you um, have the same same question, so I'm going to go through it again. So, Mr. Dawes, uh, he his question was when going through when going through one language, example, if I'm learning Hindi and I get a teach yourself Hindi and a living language spoken Hindi, go through each one individually. Okay, that's his question. Now today I'm going to use these Swedish courses because um, I had another conversation with a friend. Uh, his YouTube his YouTube name is uh, Cool Steven Two, and I wanted to show you that these are the, the um, Swedish resources that I have. You said you weren't able to find them, so um, yeah. So okay, so what do we do now? I told you guys when you when you first start on the language, you want to get a course book. Okay, let's say that we're starting Swedish today. You want to get this teach yourself, all right? And this Swedish teach yourself has how many chapters? It has 18 chapters, okay, as you can see. This book has 18 chapters, so what that means is you, when you combine these chapters here, um, let's say one month, okay, you combine three chapters from one month, four weeks, that's 12 chapters. You have completed 12 chapters of constructions in this book here, okay? And so that means by the second month, before the end of the second month, you will have completed the whole book. Okay, because uh, the second month will be 24 chapters, which this book doesn't have. So you'll be done by the second month with this book as far as constructions. Okay, now, of course, you're not going to know everything here. You're just going to know the constructions from combining them. Now, what you need to be doing at the same time is um, you need to listen to each chapter, uh, listen to the chapters individually individually so for example what I'll start right now and I combine these three chapters okay I need to start on chapter one listening I need to listen to this chapter for a week okay I, I normally spend a week listening to all dialogues in each chapter if it has three dialogues listen to all three of the dialogues so I spend a whole week listening to all these dialogues and once the second week comes I go to chapter two and spend that whole week listening to the dialogues but I need to combine chapters four, five, and six. So you combine three more chapters in the second week. Okay. So you need to, for the whole week, you need to make sure you're you're um, practicing those constructions, get, getting familiar with them. And you may need to get a grammar book. Okay. I don't have a Swedish grammar book. This is the dictionary here. I wanted to show Cool Steven, Swedish to English. But um, oh wow, Swedish to English. I must have an English to Swedish book in there somewhere. I didn't realize this was. Okay, yeah, I got an English to Swedish in there. I forgot about, but uh, yeah, um, that's what you need to do. You need to combine on each uh, every week. You will combine three chapters, and you need to listen to listen to all the um, chapters. Now, well, not all the chapters you combine, but just go in order. Um, first week, chapter one listening. Second week, chapter two listening. Third week, four and so on like that. So you you want to do that, but at the same time, you want to make sure you combine in those chapters. Now. What do you do when you're completed with these? Like, this was the main question. After you're familiar with all these constructions in this book, what next? What do you do? What I do is um, I continue listening to this, okay? You continue to listen to the, the, the dialogues here because it's going to take you longer to complete that those listening dialogues. So continue to listen to the dialogues in this, in this book and then go to colloquial. Or whatever course you have, I will I will I will uh, come to this course here and do the same thing. I won't listen to it, but I will just kind of um, I will go through it uh, looking for the constructions. But let's see how many chapters does this book has. Let's see, this book this book has how many chapters? Mm -hmm. Seventeen chapters. Okay, so this book has 17 chapters, so once you finish the constructions, you understand all the constructions in that first Swedish book, you go ahead and get the colloquial one and do the same thing. Let's say you, um, let's see, four weeks, it took you, 
let's see, four weeks. Let's say you had, let's just say two months to finish the Swedish book. Maybe some things came up and you had to take some days off. Then that third month, you, you will um, do the same thing for this book. Just go here, you know, to combine the chapters. And like I said before, you, you will have completed 12 chapters of um, 12 chapters of constructions in this book. So that leaves you what? F uh, five more chapters, right? Is that right? So um, the five chapters, you probably will spend another month going through them. So look at that. Like three or four, like uh, three to four months, you completed two books. You see this? Actually, yeah, a little less than four months, you will have completed two books of constructions. Now, you, the listening for this part, you want to make sure you just continue to listen to this. This will probably take you six, like to complete the listening, it will probably take you six months. But if you want, you can like go back and forth. Like you can listen to, um, let's say, take uh, the first week, listen to chapter one here, and then maybe you want to go here and do the same thing. But I would rather just go through this, just Go ahead and complete this first. I don't want to be all over the place. But to, as far as construction, that's fine. Once you complete the constructions here, go to this book, do the same. Okay, if you have another course and you after you complete the constructions here, go to that other course and do the same thing. Okay, but make sure you continue listening. And at the same time, I know, um, I think I talked about this before, you might want to listen to some random Swedish stuff, maybe news or whatever, have it planned in the background. Uh, this was always talked about by other language learners. But this is important. Even if you don't understand everything, it's, it's, it's part of the immersion. You want to do that. So that's that. That's what you do. Um, it's that simple. If you do this, if you, if, you, uh, if you follow this, then you will learn a lot. Okay, I've been using this, this, this methodology, and it's helped me a lot. Now, um, like I said before, you want to um, take an approach like a Steve Kaufman approach. This came up before. Uh, this listening and this reading is very important. You know, because when I first when I first started, um, when I what, what was it? I, I didn't really do that much listening and reading before I started watching Steve Kaufman's videos. It was more of like building. I was more like um, working on fluency and just talking with natives and, and stuff like that. But I didn't really read that much and listening. So now I'm doing a lot of that. And thanks to Steve, Steve Kaufman's um, Steve Kaufman's advice. Then you have the shadowing technique that works. It's weird at first, but you have to get used to it. And trust me, it works. It, um, it works for languages that, like those tonal languages or any language that's you know very difficult language. Well, it, I mean, it works for any language, but it's very very good for those tonal languages. You need to do that. The shadowing and Professor Argelius he talks about that. And then this goal list method. I've never tried goal list before, but I think I'm going to sit down and give it a shot. And I'll give my um, my review on it. I've never used it before, but I'm sure it's very good for learning vocabulary. Okay, so um, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it, and that's what you need to do with this FLR using the textbooks. It's very simple. You just have to make a schedule and stick with that schedule until you complete everything. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. And um, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. And I will get back and try to make a video if I can. I mean, I've been very busy lately. It, this, it's the holidays now, and um, I have some free time. So, uh, yeah, um, let me know if you guys have any questions, and that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for viewing.